The Birch Aquarium has been part of the gold standard in zoos and aquariums for 25 years. It's not easy to do, but they make it a priority. The CBS 8's Nedit Rampour shows us they're especially proud of their breeding programs. Three, two, four, five, six. The Birch Aquarium is home to a huge variety of sea creatures that seem to mesmerize people of all ages. It's their diversity that has helped them add to populations of species that are in danger. Really popular, um, they're very active and sometimes swimming a lot. Let's start with these fan favorites, the little blue penguins. And we only weigh about three pounds, digesting your food gave a lot of energy. <laughs> you may notice they're shivering a bit. That's because when they eat cold fish, their bodies get chilly. You'll often see them bask in the sun after a meal. They're so tiny and cute. They're about the size of a football or a giant burrito. Longtime associate curator Leslie Matsushige explains how Birch is the only aquarium on the West Coast to have little blues and now the only to have babies. Three of them hatched already this year with the first on New Year's Day. We weren't quite sure if it was going to happen, so it was, it was a surprise. We did acquire five more penguins in the fall, and so that added to the population and I think brought a lot of excitement to the penguins. And so then we got the breeding activity. And look at the babies. They start off so tiny and fuzzy. Then their down goes away over the weeks, and they're able to dive in the water and swim with the rest of their buddies, shining in that blue hue going speeds of about three to four miles an hour. Their behavior is impressive and adorable. They're also serving a greater purpose. Their numbers declining in the wild due to climate change and human development. They could live in a threatened environment, so we really need to, to learn about them and care for them, and we just really want to, to have successful breeding. From the active little blues to the not so fast, but just as captivating sunflower sea stars. This is another example of breeding at Birch. The sunflower sea stars are critically endangered. Teams from Birch and other marine life experts, including the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance, were able to successfully spawn and cross fertilize gametes from a male and female, resulting in fertile eggs. This is a sign that at Birch, they can save a species from extinction. Sunflower stars have been hit hard. More than five billion of them have died from sea star wasting disease. They're critical to keeping the sea urchin population from taking over and destroying kelp forests, vital to the balance of the oceans. Another project near and dear to Leslie's heart, the breeding of the weedy sea dragons. So we thought it'd be appropriate for one pregnant species to visit another. You may recall on CBS 8, a very pregnant reporter having a heart to heart with a very pregnant male weedy sea dragon. The eggs transferred to the male, which you saw, and the male was carrying the eggs for about six weeks. That was in February of 2023, the first time a weedy sea dragon got pregnant and successfully had babies in an aquarium. To see the little babies hatch, they were so tiny and super cute. From these tiny specks to now in the exhibit. So there's uh, one, two, three, four that we see here. The babies are almost a year old now, and my how they grow so fast, literally about a centimeter per week. And thanks to them being born here, a new discovery was made. The babies have a bright orange color to them when looked at through a yellow lens. So they can see each other, but other fish or predators cannot. They have so many now that they'll be sharing them with other aquariums to help with diversity. We have quite a few, more than we could even handle keeping here. So that's why we're sharing them with other aquariums. A huge feat, especially considering when Leslie first started in the 1990s, there was only one sea dragon here. In her 32 years, she has played a role in many firsts, helping with breeding and repopulating, proof that these animals are in environments where they can peacefully and successfully contribute to the recovery of their species. For Earth 8 at Birch Aquarium, I'm Netta Iranpour.